This Thursday morning, the future of professional sports really is in question as a lot of players are leading this charge, if you will, for change in regards to social justice. And this comes after another black man is shot seven times in the back by police in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Eight on your sides, Marco Villarreal joins us live from Amelie Arena, home of the Bolts. And Marco, the players, they took a stand last night. They certainly did in that game against the Bruins. They ended up winning, by the way, leading the series two to one. But People aren't talking about that win. They're talking about what players are doing as they stand up and say enough with police shooting black people in America. Let's talk about that game last night in Toronto again. Those players standing up before the puck even dropped together in support of Jacob Blake and his family. In the NBA, the Milwaukee Bucks telling officials they would not play their game five against the Magic. Other teams in the NBA playoffs joining as well. Games and matches in the WNBA, Major League Soccer and Baseball also canceled or postponed. The Brewers leading the effort in the world of baseball. Players say they want to see justice for Blake, change in how police officers are trained, and how they deal with black Americans. If you're sitting here telling me that there was no way to subdue that gentleman um, or, or detain him or to just before the firing of guns, um, then you, you, you're sitting here and you're lying to not only me, you're lying to every African American, every black person in the community because we see it over and over and over. And back here in Tampa, no word yet on if the Rays will be playing the Orioles tonight. They did play last night, although I am hearing that the players did have the conversation, should we be playing tonight or not? We'll continue to follow that story and let you know what happens with them. As for the NBA, still a lot of questions there. The Clippers and the Lakers, as teams, have already voted to cancel the rest of the playoffs and the 2020 season, so we'll see what comes out of that. But now others are asking these players, besides just standing up and boycotting these games to also get more focused on what exactly they want to see from communities, from lawmakers, and from police. As the latest from out here in downtown Tampa, reporting live, Marco Villarreal, 8 on your side.